Good afternoon from the National Weather Service office here in Gaylord. Welcome to the latest hazardous weather briefing for northern, lower, and eastern upper Michigan. Today is Saturday, September 7th, 2013. Well, there's a few weather highlights to talk about uh, um, over the next seven days. Uh, the first one comes right off the bat here that through early evening we have a few pop-up showers and storms out there um, ahead of a cold front and uh, a few of those could uh, become strong, um, likely not severe however, so some gusty winds, small hail certainly possible. Um, our next chance for thunderstorms will come Monday night through uh, Tuesday, or Monday through Tuesday that is, um, with some uh, probably, probably the primary threat being uh, heavy rain potential. Um, that would be um, greatest over eastern upper Michigan. Uh, some severe threat exists Monday night and um, again Tuesday afternoon over all the area. Um, so a little too early at this time to j pinpoint the details on that, but certainly stay tuned to later updates. Also a little early to pinpoint too many details is, is a much colder air mass looks to move towards the region later in the week. Um, a pretty high certainty that it will turn significantly cooler towards um, Thursday, Friday, uh, especially Friday and Saturday of the, the, the coming week. Um, and this certainly brings up the potential where that time of year uh, frost is certainly a possibility. Um, it may become pretty likely, um, especially over interior areas. Um, so again, check back as we reach uh, Thursday night and Friday night. That, that could be um, part of the forecast. Take a look at the current weather map. We see that cold front I talked about um, with an area of low pressure moving across uh, Michigan at this time. There's been some showers and storms in the uh, uh, ahead of that front over a northern lower, and those will continue to sink south this evening. Maybe some patchy fog developing overnight, um, but otherwise much cooler and drier air moving into the region. If we take a look at the forecast map for tomorrow morning, we see a big blue H basically centered right over Lake Huron. Uh, that will bring a uh, cooler, drier, a really nice day on tap for Sunday. Um, and uh, uh, with no weather concerns whatsoever. If we look by Monday, next warm front's already moving back towards uh, northern Michigan. Um, that will increase the shower, shower and thunderstorm chances, particularly in the afternoon, and again, particularly over eastern upper Michigan. Most areas uh, south of the bridge on Monday will probably stay dry. By Tuesday, however, that low pressure and associated uh, warm and cold front continue to move closer to northern Michigan, and so we'll probably find ourselves uh, with increased shower and thunderstorm activity, especially Monday night, um, and then again on Tuesday, that's when our uh, severe th uh, potential comes, uh, Monday night in, into Tuesday. Um, Tuesday looked to be pretty toasty. We could have some areas moving towards 90 degrees on Tuesday if uh, things work out with enough sun, um, so hot and humid out ahead of that cold front. But again, if we take a look at the weather map as we move towards the end of the week, another big high pressure system to move into the uh, upper Mississippi Valley, um, the Great Lakes region, uh, helping to bring much drier, much cooler air into the region, and again, that potential for frost to end the week. So we've got a roller coaster temperature ride. We're kind of warm and muggy today. We cool off tonight. Uh, again, those showers and thunderstorms ending um, with uh, a cooler, drier day on Sunday before the warm air starts to return on Monday and Tuesday with increased shower and thunderstorm chances. Again, watch out for maybe some heavy rain potential over eastern upper for that Monday through Tuesday night period. And then again, some severe threat is possible um, as well. Finally, uh, that cooler air to return the second half of the week, especially towards the very end of next week uh, with some uh, patchy frost, certainly possible. Um, by the uh, end of the uh, end of the week. This concludes the hazardous weather briefing for this afternoon. Thanks for listening in. The next scheduled update is expected around 5 a.m. tomorrow morning.